What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmod's World and right now I'm going to be showing you guys how I created the most OP, just ridiculous, savage Ultimate Legends and Madden 22 Ultimate Team right now. Pretty much when you first log in you're going to be able to see uh, that you can go ahead and uh, get a 92 overall NCAT Jimmy Smith for free, but that's in the challenges. Uh, when you complete your lineup with the new history making players, uh, the weak challenges to claim your power ups, Ultimate Legends token, and a uh, 92 overall NCAT Jimmy Smith. When you go through all of the challenges, you're eligible to get that 92 overall. So I felt the need to make sure that everybody knew about that. Uh, whether you already knew about it or you're finding out about it now, it all depends. We all are playing the game differently. So I just want to make sure everybody understands uh, what's going on with the Ultimate Legends. So. One of the new things before we get to the Ultimate Legends I created is um, when you go through it, for each challenge that you do, you're going to get a token, right? And then the tokens for every 10, you can get a certain, uh, you know, Ultimate Legend that goes into a set. So it's not like how it was before when you collect a certain amount and then at the end you get a free player. You pretty much are going to be eligible to get something free every 10 uh, tokens, all right? So when you get down to this, you'll see that it's two things. You get an ultimate, you get a Jimmy Smith power up and an ultimate legend Jimmy Smith end cat. All right, for just, you know, get 175 yards in the game and winning the game. All right, but all these other ones give you the power ups for the respectable um, ultimate legends that have just been released. Now, out of all of these that have been created, we can argue about it uh, back and forth, but the best OP savage, just ridiculous ultimate legends right now Night Train Lane and Eric Dickerson. That's it. We could argue it, you could do whatever you want, but those are the best Ultimate Legends that have just been released right now. So pretty much, I created those guys first because I knew that those were the guys that, um, you know, would make the most sense for me to add to my team, right? So pretty much what happens is I bought one bundle. The bundles are garbage, by the way, but you guys might have a little bit more success with it. I'm gonna give you guys a video showing you guys what I got out of my bundle uh, very, very soon. If you want that video sooner than later, all you have to do is go ahead and put, uh, let, let's, what do we wanna put in there? Put, um, I don't know, put, put Mike Vick, because I think that that's what's gonna change the game next. Just write Mike Vick or Vic in the comment section and I'll know that you guys want to see uh, that pack opening video sooner than later and I will get that out to you guys as uh, soon as possible let you guys see what went on but you'll be able to see uh, some of the cards that we were able to go ahead and grab so now when we take a look inside of the sets alright we're gonna go over to Ultimate Legends when you go to the exchange you'll see that the Ultimate Legends Career Edition Token Exchange you'll be able to ex exchange 10 tokens to receive a choice of one of three Ultimate Legends Career Edition players. So this is new because usually it was similar to the Legends where you just accumulate a certain amount and then you get a full one at the end of it. But now this is what they're doing. It may work out to be a lot better for us depending on the players that you're actually looking for and what's going on with the auction house, you know, whatever like that. So those are very, very interesting things that I would love for you guys to take a look at. Um, you know going forward uh so everything else is just pretty much you know 491 ultimate legends and stuff like that later on as we continue to go you'll accumulate more 91s then you can start to utilize that to get 95s and stuff like that and build up your squad in different ways so don't hesitate to take a look at some of these different ways for you to go ahead and accumulate different versions of the ultimate legend players now getting to the ultimate legends obviously this guy right here we oh, oh by the way we did the set for these two we did the set for eric dick and we did the set for Night Train Lane. I did try out the quarterback, Night Train Lane, which is the, is the first card in his segment. Uh, the card is totally trash. If you guys want to watch what happened with it, that would be in the earlier live stream today, February 19th. Just go back to the earlier uh, live stream. You could fast forward through it and watch him when I put him in the game. He's totally horrible. Uh, his numbers are not that good, so that kind of makes sense why it's trash. But we completed both these sets and added these two players because in my I don't care for Chad Johnson in Madden because he's too small uh, maybe the kicker would probably make some of you guys excited just to have him Phil Sims is not as good as the Joe Namath Leonard Davis I have you know whatever dude I don't care about that Mike Dick are too small at tight end Larry Wilson I don't you know I don't really need him at safety Mean Joe Green it's a possibility we might be able to utilize him not ready to say right now if we will Ray Lewis I don't care for Elroy Hirsch it is what it is you're like, dude, it don't matter, bro. There's just like a straight Ram party going on. Uh, so I don't really care about that situation. Now, what players did I get rid of? Well, you guys had the opportunity uh, to vote off players, which is a new thing that I'm doing. If you're a member of the channel, pretty much if you want to become a member, just click the link in the description box or go to the main homepage and you can pretty much press join. The members get to choose what I do with my ultimate team. 
So if you're part of the fam, you don't have to do anything if you have a globe next to your name. If you don't, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click join. Uh, it's different membership uh, views, but as long as you, um, membership prices, it's different membership prices, but as long as you're a member, you still get that access to be able to vote and do stuff like that. So here goes the players that you guys voted off, right? So my auctions, um, you guys wanted me to get rid of Bo Jackson and keep um, Patterson, all right? You guys wanted me to get rid of Ronnie Lott and uh, keep Derwin James, and then we added Nitrain Lane, and then we added Eric Dickerson to the squad after getting rid of Bo Jackson. That was solely what you guys wanted, all right? So you guys voted them off. I just made it, you know, I made it happen, and we created the most OP players that are available right now in Ultimate Team. So let's get to it and take a look at the numbers and figure out what's going on. So Eric Dickerson right here, uh, we have him equipped uh, with Leapfrog because you guys recommended that. I hate Leapfrog, but you guys get excited about being able to hurdle and not fumble, so it is what it is. These are his numbers. When I tell you that he moves around like a gazelle, he is unbelievable in the game. Um, he's not as OP as he was in Madden 20, obviously, with Freight Train 100, but he's a very, very good running back. Um, will his price come down? Probably, but for the teams that he played for, I think that everybody's going to be happy with him uh, as their running back overall. I honestly do. I just think that he, he plays very, very well in the game. And you can see a big difference with his spin move, uh, the way he moves side to side and everything. Completely different type of card, which is what we look for, differences in the way the players move. He looks pretty different the way he moves. So I'm really enjoying this card. Um, I would love to hear your feedback on it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it. But like I said, I think I think these cards, like bro, it's wild. It, it's, it's really, really wild, man. It's outrageous. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. But um, like I said, the gameplay, depending on how many Mike Vicks we got or Vicks in the comments, how soon you'll get that gameplay uh, with him in it. Then we still have Derwin James as our first corner. And then we bring in Night Train Lane. Night Train, do your moms in the dark lane. This dude is a savage. All we have on him is Acrobat. That is it. There is nothing else going on with this card. And then we take a look at it. The one thing that I don't like that I want to point out to you guys he has a 96 Excel. They could have just gave him the 99 Excel, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's his change in direction? 93. But, um, you know, I, I think he always good, gets decent block shed 83, and then his hit powers are 96. So it is what it is. Um, ultimately, with the way that he's played for me so far, his card is definitely worth it. Um, you know, obviously, if you have, he doesn't have to be on your theme team if you have the uh, strategy cards. But he played for a few teams. So the Lions, the Rams, and the Cardinals, if you guys were looking to figure out uh, what you wanted to do as far as Night Train Lizzle goes. But like I said, he plays pretty well for me. I have no complaints as far as the way that he's been performing right now. If the dude turns out to be garbage later, I will update you guys uh, with that information. But right now, he's pretty good. And I know you guys are going to say, yeah, mo most of the time when they release a lot of these cards, they're usually really good to start. And then they become bums later. But uh, in this case, I think he's probably one of the better cards. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, he's pretty good. And uh, leave it at that. So those are the two, in my opinion, most OP cards that have been released for the first Ultimate Legend drop. Obviously, when Michael Vick drops, which is why I asked you guys to write his uh, name in for the video. When he drops, he's changing the game. Because that's going to be a very, very monstrous card. I think EA is going to take their time with it um, when they want to release that guy. Because he's going to probably have to have 99 speed. Which means that I'm going to have to uh, change theme teams to get him to that speed. But we'll look at that when it comes. For now, I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at what's going on um, inside the store. They do have uh, a special offer that they... Um, right here, the Ultimate Legend Champion. Uh, 97 overall for $20 once you get to a level 45. I wanted to show you guys that because some of you guys were um, asking about that. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew what was up with that situation. As far as some of the other things that were there prior, they did delete some of the things that were previously there. Um, I don't know why they did that because usually they leave the special offers for before. We thought they would leave all of them, but I didn't do a lot of the other ones and they removed them. So it is what it is. But I just wanted to point out that you will be able to get one at level 45, guys. That's it for me right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, go ahead and drop a like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.